Basi and I'm doing my PhD in mechanical engineering from University of Alberta. In my research, I am working on developing models for smart indoor farms for smart cities. The notion is to exploit the potential of modern crop production practices such as vertical farming in urban areas through implementation of Industry 4.0 technologies such as artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, cloud computing, big data and analytics. Because these technologies have capabilities to alleviate the current and future global food security issues. I became interested in science and technology at a very young age. When I was a child, I was always involved in doing creative things. I remember I used to play with Legos and remote control planes. Therefore, eventually with time and instinct developed in my mind that in future, I want to do something related to science. It was eighth grade when we started learning physics and maths. And to my surprise, I was really good in these two subjects. All those mathematical equations and physical phenomena really used to amaze me. Therefore, after finishing my high school, I decided to go to engineering university. My parents really supported me in my decision. I started my bachelor's degree in 2007 in mechatronics engineering and I graduated in 2011 and after that I started working in one of the oil and gas industries back in Pakistan. I worked there for five years and then I moved to England for my master's degree because I wanted to stay in academia as a researcher. After my master, I went to uh, Turkey and joined one of the universities over there where I worked as a research assistant on different projects. And uh, this was the time when I gained extensive research experience. Then I came to Canada and now I'm pursuing my PhD degree. I am a researcher and I would say that it's a challenging, demanding, yet exciting job. And I choose this career because I want to play my part for the betterment of society by adding value to the field of science and technology. When I joined this field, I was really surprised to uh, know that there is an extensive research going on in different sectors. And every day you uh, get an opportunity to learn new and exciting things. Belonging to one of the remote areas in Pakistan, things were very uh, different for me when I decided to uh, choose engineering field. This is because I had to move to another uh, city to pursue my education. Second, I was the first girl in my family who chose engineering field. Some of the family members were really upset because uh, they had this thing in their mind that uh, this uh, engineering field is for men, not for women. Anyway, my parents really supported me and uh, 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 I also had passion to excel in this field. Uh, therefore, eventually I landed in one of the engineering universities back in my home country. At that time, I thought that all the things are sorted out, but I was wrong. Um, on my very first day in the class, I came to know that we are just four girls in the batch of 160 students and in addition to that the attitude of professor uh, towards girl was um, a bit strange as if we are doing something wrong initially these things really disappointed me but then I reminded myself that I came to university with an objective which is to excel in the field of engineering and technology um, so I had the passion, I had the determination and I completed my degree successfully and in fact I was the topper of my batch and at that time I felt proud of myself, my parents were really happy and also uh, my professors were really amazed. I always wanted to do something for the society and the world by staying in the field of engineering and technology. As we know that the world is facing various challenges and food security is one of them. Uh, the idea of indoor urban farm in smart cities really inspired me. Therefore, I decided that I should do my research in this sector. The most exciting thing about this project is that I am working on developing autonomous system for one of the farms that is established at University of Alberta. And recently, I... Uh, developed decision support system for this farm 
which uh, allow farm practitioners in clear de decision making regarding crop production, fertility layout, and uh, product quality. In addition to that, this system ensures sustainable intensification, which is really important uh, to uh, alleviate food security issues. Well, I would say that my motivation comes from three sources. The first one is, of course, my work. I know that I am developing methodologies and strategies that have potential to resolve uh, food security issues around the world. Uh, therefore, the vision that my work will help society at some point uh, really motivates me to do more and more productive work. In addition to that, my friends and colleagues really admire my work. They say that I'm doing an amazing job. I think these are the elements that uh, really boost my energy and also keep me going.